Now, here's a quick one about a father and grandfather who's divorcing his wife after 25 years because she threw it all away by going to a swinger party. And at first, could care less because she fought, figured she had the guy. But now she's having a freaking meltdown that he is done with her and walking away and gone forever. Title, 25 Years Thrown Away. I've been married 25 years, two adult children, first grandchild born seven months ago. My wife has friends that are into the swinging lifestyle and have been talking it up this lifestyle for months and months. What I tell you about, uh, pay attention to her friends are, they can influence her. We get invited to a party this past Friday night at her friend's house and co-worker's house. I'm not comfortable and ask her to call a night around 9 p.m. And she tells me to head home because she's going to help her friend clean up from the party and we'll get a ride from her and be home soon. Clean up what? The the uh, C-U-M stains on the couch and uh, get a ride. I mean, literally. Uh, she gets home at 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, that's respectful. Tries to sneak into our room, notices I'm already awake. I notice right away that she reeks of S-E-X. She starts making jokes and in light of the situation, and she says, whoever said bigger is better is so wrong. She is rubbing it right in his face. They, they were not a part of that lifestyle. He certainly didn't agree to that lifestyle. He should have made her come home with him, granted, but still. She doesn't care. This is not someone that loves her husband. And then she needs a day or two before she can uh, do the reclaiming thing, and she's, and she's too sore at the moment. And how clumsy and awkward it was, and how the condom broke, and she needed a shower. Jesus, what an a-hole. She jumped in the shower, and I jumped in my truck and left. I started driving west, my phone started blowing up for her, and I just turned it off. I drove until I was too tired to drive anywhere else, ate dinner at a Waffle House, and got a cheap motel for the night. The next morning, I turned my phone on, and she left 100 messages and texts. I read a few before she calls calls again, and I turned it off and continued driving. Somebody's losing it. Somebody's realizing, uh-oh, I guess I don't have this guy. I'm thinking of just serving her divorce papers, waiting the year and a day, and not look back, and, and, and just my, maybe that's my anger talking. It's now Tuesday morning, and I'm going to stay away at our summer vacation home in the mountains, just dwelling on this. Yes, get as far away from pos- as possible. As an update, he says, I spent the morning listening to all her voicemails from my wife and reading all her texts, and how she goes from confident to worried to terrified. It seems she called my kids, and they have heard or seen me, and they have heard or seen me. Because uh, my daughter called me one hour ago. I told her me and their mom were getting divorced and gave no t- details why she would have to ask her mother about that. So there you go. Frankly, he should tell his daughter exactly what happened because I guarantee you she's going to twist things around and uh, minimize the whole thing and make it out like he's the bad guy. Guarantee. But right there, her friends are a bunch of swingers. Gee, what do you expect is going to rub off on her? And again, no woman does that to a guy wanting him to engage in that lifestyle with her or go do what she did if she has zero love for him, zero respect, and thinks that he's going to be around no matter what. She came home and rubbed it in his face. Literally, you heard it. And he took off and left, which is the right thing to do. This guy needs to talk to a divorce attorney right away, find out all his options, and get rid of her. Even if he takes a hit. He'll move on. He'll be fine. I mean, the dude's probably, I'm guessing, at the earliest, late 40s, maybe low 50s. But he'll be all right. That's the thing, guys. Guys can go through hell, and if you're strong, and you embrace your masculine core, you're who you really are, you can get through anything. But no guy should ever stay with that. And I don't want to hear any crying and meltdowns that she's having and how sorry she is. She ain't sorry. She just never thought he'd leave, and she doesn't want to be alone. But she can go off and have all the sausage she wants now because this guy is out of there.